guys! Welcome back to Gabbing with Jessa. Today I will be reviewing one of the most anticipated movies of 2019. I was so excited for this remake as it is one of my favorite Disney movies and I wasn't that disappointed. So let's get started with Aladdin. I just wanted to start off by saying the original animated movie is much better than this one. I went into the theater not trying to compare and it does feel like a different movie, but of course, nothing can compare to the original. We have Mina Masood as Aladdin, and I was so happy that they got an actor that looks the part, but is also pretty good looking too. I have loved both of the Aladdins, this one having Masood, and the 1992 original having Scott Wagner, aka Steve, from Full House. Fun fact, I was a huge Full House fan growing up, and they filmed an episode where the gang goes to Disney World, and Steve actually cameos as an Aladdin character, in the park. Masood portrays the role perfectly to me. He's charismatic but cocky and knows how to use his street smarts to get what he wants. We then have the wonderful Naomi Scott as Jasmine. When it was first announced that she was going to be playing Jasmine, I was really happy because I knew that I'd heard of her before and then I remembered it was from that hit movie. Oh, not not Power Rangers, no. I'm talking about Lemonade now. She steals the show in this movie and it was so much fun to watch the different character arc that the remake decided to take for her. And of course, probably the most talked about actor of this film, Will Smith as the genie. No one will be able to replace Robin Williams as the genie. I know that, you know that, and even Will Smith knows that. In this movie, you can definitely tell he's not trying to replace Williams, but trying to bring his own spin on the beloved character. I read somewhere that Smith was trying to channel his Fresh Prince persona, into this film, and I thought he did a very good job of that. I was totally here for the Fresh Prince of Agrabah. And the blue genie looks fine, oh my gosh. I have never heard so many online complaints about a CGI character than I did when Will Smith was first revealed in the trailer. That was until the Sonic trailer dropped. Sorry, Sonic. The effects in this movie were overall pretty good. I thought the friend like me scene was very bright and fun to watch. I could have had an entire movie of Will Smith and Mas Mina Masood dancing and I would have just been so satisfied. I thought that Abu looked good, Iago looked good. The scene I was probably most disappointed in, effects wise, was during A Whole New World. I just felt like they could have done a lot more with that scene. Like, it showed them flying on the carpet from behind a lot, and when you would think that they'd show some great, big, extravagant place, it was just simply the night sky, or something along those lines. But it was still an enjoyable song. They added two new characters, Dahlia, the handmaiden to Jasmine, and Hakeem, one of the head guards to the Sultan. The Sultan was a much more serious character in this movie than in the animated version, and I really like that change because this is a little bit of a more serious film. Jafar and Iago were the characters I was most disappointed in. Iago was not Gilbert Gottfried, and they didn't get like another comedian to do his role, and he was basically just reduced to an ordinary parrot who occasionally didn't repeat what people were saying. And Jafar I'm still confused with. They gave him a little more of a different overall goal, which I did like, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the evil or the creepiness like I did with the animated version. Maybe because he was younger in this one? I don't know. The music is definitely catered more towards modern time. I found myself dancing through most of it. Like, I could totally get down to a lot of these songs. But I'm still in favor of the originals. Jasmine gets her own song, and honestly, it's my favorite song of this movie. The best scene by far is the one after the Prince Ali number where Aladdin and Genie are trying to get Jasmine and the Sultan's approval of him. And it is just so awkward. Aladdin doesn't really know what to do or say, and Will Smith is just basically being Will Smith. And it was just so funny. I know my whole audience was laughing at it during that entire scene. Overall, this was just a very fun film. It has its flaws unrelated to the original, 
but it also brings a lot of things to the table that I liked more than the original. But of course, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.